Take two. <laughs> okay, hi guys, it's Natasha, and we're back again with another episode of Adventures of an Eatist. Couldn't find Sarah. Today we're in Seapoint visiting Shekta's Roll, doing the healthy thing in life. So, um, come on in. <laughs> Pumpkin pie flapjacks for you. Wow, this looks so good. What's this on top here? Okay, uh, so on top you have uh, vegan ice cream. It's made of uh, cashews and you have some strawberries. The pumpkin is made of stone ground brown flour. There's pumpkin, there's agave syrup in there. Probably bananas and I see Yeah, some it's very high in protein. You can Nothing try it, it's very good. Protein. Yeah, <laughs> so good. Alright, so we've got some mint garnish. I love garnish, but it doesn't. It's not why I'm here. Ah. Yes. Look at all that goodness. The messier your food is, the more delicious it is. It's science, I think. Proven by science. The flapjacks are warm and buttery, with like a light, fluffy texture. Definitely got sweetness but it's very subtle it's not overpoweringly sweet that's why we have the nice little ice cream on top vegan ice cream got a nice cashew flavor with some cinnamon I've actually been here before and I had this and that's why I decided to come today should I have the mint as well it's kind of <laughs> I mean the mint wasn't a good idea I'm just gonna go with it. I think I'm gonna choke on this <laughs> uh, On my right side, I'm holding uh, vegan scrambled eggs. There's a vegan sausage there. There's uh, mushrooms. There's avocado, smashed avocado. How do you make vegan scrambled eggs? Is vegan it like scrambled vegan eggs. Chickens? Yes, yeah, it's, uh, it's made of uh, tofu. Oh. Yes, yeah, and there's also uh, gluten-free bread. In the, in the eggs, there's red peppers and green peppers and onions. I'm holding a probiotic salad. So there's massaged uh, kale, uh, caramelized cashews, there's tomatoes. I love uh, On top, there's uh, mung beans on top. Mung beans. And Is that this? Yes, that's the mung beans. Okay. There's also a sauerkraut. Sauerkraut is uh, fermented vegetables. I've never known what sauerkraut yeah. is. And organic um, <laughs> apple cider and um, probiotic uh, cashew mayo. Cashew mayo. Caramelized cashews. Oh, yes. Um, so these are vegan eggs, as you said. They're made of tofu. Looks really good. I don't know how they get the yellow. It just looks a lot like very like crumbly eggs. So I'm just going to give it a bite. It definitely tastes like a spicy, maybe turmeric flavored egg. An eggy texture, but definitely more grainy. Not bad though, it's really good. My first time trying vegan eggs, and um, yeah, so this is the, the gluten free bread. I'm gonna get some guac on here as well. I think I'm just gonna make like a good bite. Do you think I should just hand it? This guac is very creamy, but it's still got nice chunks of avo in it. I like a good lumpy guac and good lemony texture. Salted but not too salted. This guac is really good. This is apparently vegan sausage. So sausage. Definitely crispy. Got a, a good crunch going there. Crispy outside. It looks kind of, it's probably similar to what's on the Trump dog. Definitely like a, a meaty kind of mincy texture in the middle, but obviously it's vegan. And if you kind of just smear it on there, it's really good. It tastes like a, like a spicy sausage roll. And then they've got like a sweet syrupy flavor just underneath. Because this is like a, a mild spice with a bit of a, a little bit of a nip at the back of the the back of the palate and then the sweetness just kind of neutralizes it. I'm all about those flavor combos. I like sweet and salty together. It's like a bride. Like a bride. Okay so I'm just gonna move this aside so I can get to the salad. So this is a probiotic bowl. As with everything it's really good for you. So I want a bite of cashew, 
I want some of this mayo. I don't know if I'm gonna have the cherry tomato. I know what cherry tomato tastes like. There's something, something in here that's not necessarily to my taste. Let me just see if I can isolate it. Tastes like turmeric. I think it's turmeric. I'm not the biggest fan of turmeric, but it's actually really, it's not a bad dish at all. I love the caramelized cashews. It's got a really good sweetness to it. If you were to say, make me something healthy and put it in a bowl, this is what it tastes like. We've got some fresh, crispy kale, which I'm really loving. So here we have a cashew king smoothie that is high in protein. There's cashews inside, almond butter, almond milk, and mesquite. And we also have a glass straw that is uh, good, for the, good for the environment. Save the turtle! And here we have a vegan, uh, best vegan burger. The bun is made of uh, activated charcoal. It's very good for you. And the patty, uh, inside there's um, uh, brown rice, black beans, organic tofu and you also have um, barbecue sauce in there there's also smashed avo and caramelized uh, onions yeah. Yeah. okay then on the side you have uh, sweet potato fries and uh, vegan aioli sauce so I'm gonna dig into the best vegan burger unstab the burger step number one step number two of eating a burger after you've cut it in half uh, smush it together and then you just kind of have to go for it. If it's on your fingers, you're doing it right. Okay. Oh my gosh. That is so good. It kind of tastes like meat. If that's even possible. I kind of expected the bun to taste a bit differently because, you know, good old charcoal. But it kind of tastes the same and it's got a very similar texture to like regular bread. It's very doughy, kind of crispy. I can see they're toasted at the bottom. The sweetness of the caramelized onion really complements the kind of mild flavor of the patty. It doesn't scream out at you, which is nice, it's not overpowering. The guac is really good. Tomato is fresh. The lettuce is a good crunch to it. I kind of just want to eat the whole thing. So we've got some sea potato fries. I really love sea potato fries. And the aioli, which kind of looks like a mayo. So this is the Cashew King smoothie. I'm gonna... Okay, this is my favorite one. I'm literally not sharing this. <laughs> no one gets any of it. What I like about it is that it's not too sweet. For me, I don't like when drinks are too sweet or overpowering. You can definitely taste all the cashews if you like nuts. These nuts. <laughs> You're really gonna love the smoothie. It's really nice, very creamy texture. Okay, so we've now reached the juice part of the day. We've got some cold fresh juices and some freshly squeezed juices as well. We've got a kale cleanse, ginger ninja. I don't really like ginger, but it's okay. Beatboxer, black magic, and some smoothies. But Tom's gonna tell me a bit more about them. The one I'm the most curious about is this black magic. Black magic, it's yes, more yeah. Okay, so this one it has um, activated charcoal inside. Uh, there's al alkaline water, apple, and lemon. Here uh, we have a very delicious smoothie. Very uh, nice. Yeah, so there's <laughs> a variety of berries in there. Mix the berries, and there's a green piece. Uh, all you get all the green suspects in there, avocado, like avocado celery, uh, spinach. Mint, garnish, we know yeah. I love garnish. It's out in a very nice smoothie, very delicious. Can I? Yeah, give it a try. Mm. Is it banana in here as well? There's banana inside as well, yes. I get that. Yes, I yeah. like that it's a, it's a kind of, I would say lumpy smoothie, so you get bits of fruit in as well. It's like a breakfast slash drink. I'm now going for the green peas. Peas! <laughs> All the green things. It's actually really sweet. It's sweeter than I thought it was going to be. It's sweeter than like the, the cashew smoothies and stuff. It's really nice, really refreshing. I can for sure have it for breakfast. 
But like with these smoothies, what's really nice about them is that they're so filling, you could kind of have them as a meal on their own, maybe pre or post run if you've just done a gym session. I think it's really nice. You don't really want to eat something too hectic or too rich just after you've done a training session. So something like, like a smoothie is really ideal. So the owner's name was Sophie Schechter. He's actually a South African who did a whole bunch of traveling and ended up staying in um, New York for a while. But when he came back to South Africa, he realized there was a real gap in the a real gap in the market. A real gap in the market for healthy restaurants that focus on clean, nutritious living that are cruelty free and animal free. So on the menu, you'll find a lot of high in protein things, um, but they are all animal free. This is an entirely vegetarian establishment, so there is no meat on the menu. But um, it's very versatile, there's just a lot of gluten free options for those of you who can't eat gluten or don't eat gluten because you're watching your figure. Um, and yeah, let's get into these juices. Shifters Raw Original. So yeah, we've got the Black Magic and this is the Kale Cleanser. So Black Magic, as you can see, has good old activated charcoal as with a lot of things in here as well as apple, lemon, alkaline water, and it's a really good body detox and it's good for anti-aging. So I'm gonna give it a go. I'm a bit skeptical. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> Do I have to shake it first? I was actually expecting it to be horrible, I won't lie to you. It's actually really nice. It's like an apple juice with a lemony tang. It's sweet, which I didn't expect. I, I honestly thought the charcoal was going to be like a, you know, that feeling in your throat where you're like, sand, kind of. But you don't get that at all. I'm going to give it a shake and just see if it makes it different. It got sweeter. Oh, that's really good. That's really good. I think I'm going to give this one a shake got some murkiness at the bottom. I want to get all the flavor in there. So this is kale, spinach, green apple, not just any apple, green apple. Parsley, ginger, oh, ginger, and lemon. Okay, <laughs> I don't want to drink ginger. I can smell the ginger. I can just smell it. Okay. You know, I can taste the ginger, it's really good, um, you definitely get the apple, the green apple, and you definitely get the kale and the spinach, it's not as sweet as the charcoal black magic one, yeah, but a good juice nonetheless, <laughs> definitely, <gasps> dog, oh my god, oh no, I wanna play, <laughs> sorry, can I pet your dog, I'm literally filming and I'm being so unprofessional, but, oh my god, hi, I'm so sorry. I'm so distracted. This is the second Labrador I've petted today. Hi. Hi. She is so... I'm such a dog person. I know. I'm so sorry. I'm so unprofessional. Thank you. Have a good day. Back to my tour. Okay, I'm back. I'm back. Okay, so here we have a sneaker smoothie. Uh, that's the most popular uh, smoothie on the menu. It's also uh, very high in protein. Uh, it has cashews, it has vanilla, um, organic lacuma, organic mixed kit. We have a vegan tram dog. Um, it has charcoal as well. There's a vegan sausage. It's made of uh, tofu, uh, black beans, brown rice. All those vegan things. Yes, yes, All yeah. And also you have uh, sweet potato fries on the side, uh, vegan aioli on the side. Standard charcoal bound on top. We've got a vegan sausage, and then it's got some salsa, some mustard, some barbecue mayo, caramelized onions. I'm very much like a hands kind of eater. I've never really been the the neatest. I just think you really have to get involved. I don't understand how it tastes so much like meat. The sausage is a very nice spice. I wouldn't say it's too spicy, it definitely has like um, a bit of a bite in the back of your palate but nothing too hectic. The sweetest of the caramelized onion comes through again. 
and the mayo is like really subtle but really necessary. I think it's really good. The salsa is a bit spicy, but I like spicy food, so I ain't complaining. So Tom's decided to pair this with their most popular smoothie. It's called the Snickers smoothie. That's really good. Definitely taste the cocoa. It just tastes really healthy, very creamy, got a good texture, not as um, lumpy as the, the fruit smoothies. I still love the Cashew King though. I think that's really high up in my favorites. But this is really high up there as well. I got my Cashew King smoothie and my sticker of raw approval. Um, it was a really nice vibe. It's a small place, so be sure to get you nice and early. There's a lot of good looking people. Um, it must be the food, it must be something in the food. But yeah, thank you so much for watching this episode of Adventures with an Eaters. Don't forget to like and subscribe and tell us where you'd like to see us next. Okay, bye! <laughs> bye!